Hi everybody, this is City Readings and this reading is going to be for Capricorn. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Let's see what are the messages that we have for you. What do we have for Capricorn? What do we have for Capricorn? In case this resonates, Capricorn, there will be a link in the description box to the extended to find out how is your person thinking, feeling about you? Their next moves towards you, outcome of the situation between the two of you, advice, oracle messages, love notes, guidance from spirit, your future love. So do check it out. I'll be linking it below for you guys. What do we have for Capricorn, please? Okay. There you, <laughs> there you are, Capricorn. We have the King of Cups with the Devil energy. There is love here, mm -hmm, but there's a little bit of that toxic vibe about it. We will see what this is. Let's see. I feel like this is more so that energy where you feel like you were, um, you were maybe showing up for somebody who was very inconsistent okay i'm also getting that this energy is talking about refraining from showing the love that you have towards somebody okay i do see love coming in I do see love. I see you very focused on your money, Capricorn. I see you making good money. I see you focused on your stability. Um, and I see good stuff for you. I do. But I'm also seeing that... Your vibe and the other person's vibe is just not matching. Okay, you know why? Because your wife is the king of cups and this person's wife is the page of cups for now at least. So this is not a matching wife. This is somebody who is showing up. Um, but not really showing up the way you want. Um, there's more emotion, there's more depth on your end than on this person's end. Okay. And I see a choice here being made in love with the lover's energy. I see a union. I see love here showing up for you. <clears throat> I feel like you're not very focused on love these days. <clears throat> Sorry. I feel like you're very focused on your money, your stability. Um, something of that sort. Okay. Yeah, I feel like you're a little bit disappointed or a whole lot disappointed. And the reason why you're focused on yourself for now is because you have been emotionally disappointed or it's almost like you feel like there has been a missed opportunity between you and somebody. It's like you want the other person to step up. Your overall energy is the Eight of Cups with the Ace of Cups, the Three of Wands, and the Knight of Pentacles. So something is seeming to be at a stalemate or was at a stalemate, Capricorn. With the Eight of Cups and the Ace of Cups, I see you walking away. Uh, so this month is going to be a lot about walking away and finding yourself. Also, this is talking about self-love. I feel like you are doing things that you love doing. 
okay trying to focus on what makes you happy what floats your boat okay and the reason why you walked away from a certain situation was because there was lack of emotional fulfillment in that situation anyway okay It's like a door closes and another opens for you here with the Eight of Cups and the Ace of Cups. There's something that may be coming to an end, but then there's a new beginning. Okay. So the next few days or this month in general is going to be a little about change for you. I also see some sort of a change, some sort of a transition in your life, especially when it comes to love. Could be about other things as well. Let's get you. I kind of want to get some other cards for your general stuff, not just love. I will do that more in my readings now, not just love, but other messages too that you may need okay wow okay so i see a new passionate start in your life capricorn um i see manifestation of a big idea for you something that you really wanted maybe a home, maybe that job, maybe a relationship even. This is balance. This is stability. This is happiness. And I feel like it's almost like the universe is telling you that your happiness is here right in front of you, but it's going to take some time and patience. I feel like something is growing. I feel like some of you may have started a business or you have that idea that you are exploring these days, perhaps. I'm really seeing that. There's like this new idea or something is growing. I'm literally hearing the word growing, expanding, okay? Literally growing and blooming. Something beautiful will unfold for you in your life in general. There, this could be a good news in your family. This could be about something that you love doing, okay? And it's a new start. It's, you, it's like you will find help from the divine. The divine is going to guide you towards this beautiful, beautiful energy, okay? Beautiful. I'm going to put it here. Let's clarify things for you now, shall we? Can you tell me more about the lover's energy with the six of pentacles? We have the six and another six here. Okay. I see a union here. I see somebody wanting to give into the situation with you. But for you, I feel like you... It's like you expect more from this person than they give you. Because they don't give a lot. They tend to breadcrumb you. And that kind of creates this... Is it even worth it kind of a vibe? There's literally a situation in your life about which you think that is it even worth it? And until I figure it out, I'm a focus on my money. What is the Queen of Pentacles? What is the Queen of Pentacles? Too many cards. But I did see the Queen of Wands. I feel like it's it's more so like that energy of relying on yourself. And I really don't see love being a priority here right now. Yeah, Six of Swords again. It's like you're walking away from a certain situation. I also feel like this is a transition. This is a change. 
that you're going through. I also feel like Capricorn, there's a lot of growth in your energy as in you have realized that something isn't working out for me or something hasn't worked out for me, okay? And if it hasn't worked out for me, then why am I showing up here? You see, you're finding yourself again. And even though you are coming from a place of love, you're not ready to sell yourself short here, of course. What do we have for the devil? tower and the seven of swords and the queen of swords and the ace of swords so what i see happening for you guys is that there is something coming to an end and i feel like a situation ended or you decided to perhaps walk away from a certain situation because of somebody's lies i do see here that somebody was lying or somebody wasn't being honest okay um and that kind of ended the situation a certain situation ended in, in your life because somebody was lying or it was just not based on honesty okay and you do not like that something here fell apart okay but it's like you found yourself in that energy even if something fell apart you found yourself capricorn you're very clear with your choices it's like somebody revealed a certain aspect to themselves, to you, and that helped you regain your clarity about, okay, so this is something that I absolutely will not tolerate in a relationship. And I see you very firm with your boundaries, okay? You want clarity, you want the truth. Even if this person's coming in, you want them to tell you the truth or not come towards you at all, you see? There's a new start. Your future energies, judgment, death, and the seven of pentacles. I see a new start. I see a transformation here, Capricorn. And this has an ending and a new beginning tied to it, this transformation. A big decision is going to be made here, especially when it comes to your money. But I see a big decision uh, and a big forward movement in your love situation as well. So something here will become very clear for you, okay? It's the same sword here for some reason that I'm picking up on. So it's that clarity of mind. It's that breakthrough. It's that truth. For some of you, this already came out. For others of you, if you're in a situation where things are not clear enough, the truth is eventually going to come out, honey. And I feel like, like I said, with the temperance energy, you are being told here to keep your patience. There are new beginnings ahead. We have Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands together in a reading here for you. But this reading also has a lot of ending cards, a lot of falling apart cards, okay? Like the Death, the Eight of Cups, the Tower right here. You see? movement ending falling apart okay walking away due to emotional discontent this is only bringing forth a brand new start a brand new energy a brand new beginning more clarity more passionate more loving more caring and this is all that you're manifesting this is a divine energy. It's like you are being put through something in your life that is challenging to deal with in only to bless you with something better. This is a beautiful, beautiful reading. Okay. Let's see. What do we have 
for Capricorn. What do we have for Capricorn? What do we have for Capricorn? Take a chance, risk being strategic, self-indulgence, and snake. What is the snake energy? Soulmates. Ooh. Okay. I really feel like a lot of you lost yourself in a situation. That's why you're not willing to open up to this anymore. It's like you're silently going through something. Okay. But I see you evolving. I see you growing. This is self-indulgence and the butterfly. This is growth. This is expansion. This is evolving, right? With the snake and the soulmate energy. Mm -hmm. I really feel like you're supposed to learn a lesson here. Somebody wasn't good for you, but in the future you are manifesting perhaps a soulmate relationship. <clears throat> a soulmate connection with the four of wands here. Okay. Because something in the past hasn't been that great. But what's coming up in the future is much better for you, okay? With the soulmate energy. Capricorn. What do we have for Capricorn? What do we have for Capricorn? Free yourself and it is safe for you to love. <clears throat> Express your love at the bottom of the deck. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. And then we have free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. So I really feel like there's something that you need to release from your energy. There, there's something that you have to let go of and still being open to love. With, is, with, with the it is safe for you to love. I do see that you have some trust issues here. But it's almost like you're being told here to keep your patience and to keep your heart chakra open because this is about divine timing. This is all divine assistance here. Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups. Something is being offered to you here out of the blue, very unexpectedly. What do we have for Capricorn? See, the answers that you need are coming, which is something I said as well, that there is that clarity. There's the truth that I see coming out. Capricorn. Something is going to be revealed to you. You see? That's about it, Capricorn. Those were the messages that popped out for you. I hope that you were open to receive these messages and I hope that you got something out of the reading. Check out the extended version linked below to find out how is your person thinking, feeling about you, their next moves, outcome of ice, love notes, guidance from spirit and your future love situation, okay? So do check it out. I'll be linking it below for you guys. Take care and bye-bye.